I mean, okay, so. everybody. I mean, that's that's what the man's he's supposed to be the provider. Absolutely. So, you know, and I'm a beautiful woman, so I'm expecting to be treated like royalty. I mean, come on. So that's but what the I was. Is, how do we treat him? And right, that's where the right, that's where the, right, the disconnect was. Right. Uh, in the video, now of course I'm sure you think of it differently now, but in the video you you basically told him that you know you're not going in there. You know your value. It would be embarrassing for you to go inside a cheesecake factory. Oh. A lot of people like cheesecake factory. Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. Black TikTok been roasting this sh- out of the Cheesecake Factory lady, especially black women. Black women been letting her have it. Let me say something. God knows why he didn't make me male, right? God knows why he made me a woman, a heterosexual woman at that. Because had I been that man, had that man been me, and I took my time, I said, you know what, I'm interested in this lady, I want to take her out. Let's go to the Cheesecake Factory. That's a cool little spot. You know, most people like the Cheesecake Factory. And Shorty was acting like that. The date would have been over right there. It wouldn't have been no questions. It wouldn't have been no back and forth. It wouldn't have been no why, how come? You know, no, it would have been, okay, baby, it's time for you to go. Call you an Uber, walk, you know, hitchhike. I really don't get because the fact that Shorty came out of her crib looking like Grimace from Ronald McDonald and Friends and then is mad that she got taken to the Cheesecake Factory, crazy. So we're going to be out here making videos to shame a man for taking you to the Cheesecake Factory now, ladies. <laughs> Who raised some of y'all? Were y'all raised by wolves, cows, lions, dragons, aliens? Because at this point, this is becoming embarrassing. It's becoming ignorant. No, it ain't becoming. It's already ignorant. Um, For you, lady, and I hope she sees this video, for you to say that a man shouldn't take you to a chain restaurant because you're too beautiful for that, girl, bye. Who are you? What? A man decided to schedule a date with you, kick you up in his vehicle, come around to open your car door and you're going to lock his door saying all of this foolishness on camera making yourself look real dumb ladies stop the foolishness just cut it out because i see why a lot of men don't want to date y'all like literally i'm seeing it so many times in the comments i had to go watch this video baby when i tell you not only was you acting up in that car but you literally act like cheesecake factory is not your favorite restaurant because you literally said you have been there so many times this week, meaning that you keep going back to back because their menu is a book long. So there's so many different options. Secondly, you were late to the first reservation because you were there in your apartment for an hour while he was waiting downstairs. You had the right one because anybody else would have drove off and left you on red or blocked. Even with all the, with the roast and with the comments, you know, people just destroying her with the comments. She and the Indian dude, they both sat down with Kevin Wesley. I like Kevin Wesley. I watch some of his content. You know, he's a motivational, inspirational brother. You know, he reacts to videos and he gives his perspective from encouragement, from inspirational perspective. Why don't we take a look at what they're talking about? Um, yeah. Before I ask you any questions, have you guys had a second date? Mm, no. no, no, no second dates. Not yet. Okay, okay. Uh, so I'll start with you, Jay. Mm. What, what has dating been like for you since that video went viral? I might not have put my best foot forward, you know. And so they kind of had this image of me front based on the video. Absolutely. And it hasn't really helped. Okay. Exactly. It's like they they might think everything about me is reflected in that video and i don't think it, it is and uh but yeah it's it's been difficult sure 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 well, and it's even before this you know dating has already been difficult for me that's what women don't understand dating is challenging for a lot of men especially average men now looking at this dude right here and this is not to disrespect him or to knock him He's an average dude. He is what I would like to call invisible man. What do I mean? 
he is invisible to women, especially attractive women. So he's correct, not just him. It is that way too with a lot of average black men. Women, especially attractive women, do not notice or even look twice at average men. Let's keep going. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. So Alicia, mm -hmm. you didn't seem to really disagree with what he was saying. Now you had a, a definitely a different opinion before he gave you his, his, his mind, right? But you right. seemed very receptive to it. Can you explain to me kind of what you were thinking and how you saw him in that video? Because he's saying they got they took him in a negative light. What What do you think? Well, yes, I, I think once we had the conversation, I could see my role mm -hmm. in the conflict. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's back up a little bit. To be fair, I mean, I was always raised that the man is supposed to cater to you. I mean, you're courting me, so court me. Mm -hmm. That means wherever I want to go, you take me. Absolutely. Whatever I want, you buy me. That's courting. You know, I'm looking for a provider. So, but after the conversation, I could see how there was a lot of I okay. in, 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 in that exchange. Um, I, it was, uh, I was definitely very self-centered and I can appreciate if I do want someone to provide for me, I, I at least gotta be a little bit nice. Absolutely, okay. You know, the funny thing is, modern women are always using that old fashioned traditional women talking points only when it fits their narrative. She is talking about how she's a princess. How am I supposed to do this for her? How am I supposed to court her? How am I supposed to treat her? But are you a traditional woman? What is the man gonna get in return? The man that gives her everything she's asking for, what is that man gonna get in return? Definitely that attitude, that's a no-no. Her looks, I give her a four or a five. You understand what I'm saying? I give her a four or a five. She's all right. She's not ugly. I mean, you know, she's okay. She, she's all right. But her attitude makes her a zero. Modern women want the treatment of a traditional woman, but they don't want to be a traditional woman, if that makes any sense. They like the perks of a traditional woman, you know, getting courted, getting treated well, man pay, taking care of her, man protect. They like that concept, but they don't want to do, they don't want to submit or do what it takes to be treated like a traditional woman. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. Okay, great. So now I ask you this, based, based on your idea of dating before your conversation with Jay, how did you grow up? Uh, who, who also thinks that way? I'm sure you have friends who think that way. I, I've heard it a lot. I okay, mean, so. everybody. I mean, that's that's what the man's, he's supposed to be the provider. Absolutely. So, you know, and I'm a beautiful woman, so I'm expecting to be treated like royalty. I mean, come on. So that's what I was doing. Is, how do we treat him? And that's right. where the, that's right. where the, the right. disconnect was. Right. Uh, in the video, now of course, I'm sure you think of it differently now, but in the video, you, you basically told him that you know, you're not going in there, you know your value. It would be embarrassing for you to go inside a Cheesecake Factory. Oh, a lot of people oh. like Cheesecake Factory. Oh. Now, <laughs> so when I see that video, I'm thinking, okay, she must have some friends who probably would disagree with her going inside a Cheesecake Factory. Oh, uh, yeah. Your peer group. Uh, yeah, so I peer never, pressure probably keeps you from- live that, oh my God. If I, yeah, I would never live that down. Wow, I, just I mean, ate the Cheesecake Factory, they wouldn't let you live that down. No, I have an image to protect. I, <laughs> wow! It does not do that. That I mean, that was you know that that was my circle though. That's how sure. I mean. That's what. That's how we roll. Sure. I mean, to be quite blunt, that's how we roll. Um, hypergamy is a big, you know, is a big thing in in my circle. She is not what she think she is. Look wise, I don't know her. I don't know anything about her. But if we're going by appearance. 
And if we're going by her attitude, the way she talks, this sister actually believes men are put on this planet to worship her. Men are put on this planet to just give her the world without her doing anything in return. I mean, the arrogance, the entitlement is just wow. I mean, that's all I can say, just wow. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.